Okay, so let's do a few practice problems. So the first type we're going to do are atomic radius, okay? And so you have three groups of elements here, of atoms from elements, and what you're going to do is rank them from smallest to largest, okay? So I'll go through the first one with you, and then for the second and third one, go ahead and pause it, and we'll go through them together after that, but be sure to try it first. Okay, so let's do the first one, polonium, selenium, and tellurium first. And so the strategy here is to find everybody on the periodic table, okay? So I am going to find polonium, all right, here he is, and selenium right there, and then tellurium, okay? And so now I've found everybody, and I've marked them. You don't have to mark them. You can just find them. And I'm going to look at the relationship, okay? And these guys are all in the same group, okay? So same group. And what do we know about the size of atoms going down a group, okay? They're in the same group, then as we go down a group, n increases, the size of the orbitals get larger, and so the size of these atoms get larger as we go down a group. So the smallest here is going to be selenium, okay, at the top of the group. The largest is going to be polonium, okay, and then tellurium is going to be in between, intermediate, okay. So that's an easy example, okay? So what I want you to do is go ahead and try the second one. So I'm going to kind of rope this one off, okay? So try strontium, iodine, and bromine. It's a little bit harder. All right, so let's go through it. All right, so let's find everything first. So here's strontium, okay? Here's iodine, all right, and bromine. Okay, now look at that relationship. So we have strontium and iodine in the same period. And what do we know about the size going across a period? All right, so the effect of nuclear charge increases as we go across a period. So that means that strontium much, must be larger than iodine. So let's write that down. Okay, now let's look at bromine and iodine, which are right together, all right, and bromine and iodine are in the same column, okay, they're in the same group, so that means that as we go down a group, the atomic radius is increasing, so that means bromine must be smaller than iodine. Okay. So if we're going to rank these guys, then we're going to put bromine as the smallest, okay? The largest is going to be strontium, okay? And then in between, that's where we're going to have iodine, okay? All right, good. Okay, so now try the next one, and again, pause it. Okay? All right, so let's find everybody again. So we have barium, tellurium, and strontium. Okay? So there's tellurium, popular today. Strontium is also popular. Okay? And we want barium. Okay. There's barium. Okay. So this is a little bit similar to before. Okay? So we have strontium and tellurium in the same period. All right, so who's smaller than who? And so tellurium is smaller than strontium. Okay, and now strontium and barium are in the same group. So strontium is going to be smaller than barium. Okay, so if we're going to rank them, from smallest to largest, we would put it tellurium, okay, because it's smaller than strontium, but strontium is smaller than barium, 
so we would have this order. So this would be our largest, this would be our smallest. Okay?